what is going on guys welcome back to another video so on the name of everybody behind plant cell technology i'm very excited to introduce you to this this is the biocoupler tm temporary mesh and bioreactor so let's take a look the biocoupler meets all the basic requirements and accomplishes all the needed tasks for a fraction of the cost of a traditional temporary mesh and bioreactor it provides the perfect environment for plants to grow and it does it without the troublesome plumbing timers bulbs solenoids etc and electricity is not required it is a unique patent pending device that simply couples together two regular mouth canning jars the plants are placed on the upper jar while the liquid media is filled to about two-thirds capacity of the lower jar the biocoupler filters the air thanks to an integrated vent hole covered by a long-lasting microporous air filter easily replaceable at a low cost if necessary it also has adjustable veins that restrict the plants from falling into the liquid media on the jar below. We finally have a temporary mesh and bioreactor that takes up little shelf space in the grow room and is easy to use and handle. The hefty 32 ounce, just under one liter for North American viewers, can hold hundreds of plants. The biocoupler temporary mesh and bioreactor is a heat resistant and can be autoclaved at 120 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes. How to use the biocoupler temporary mesh and bioreactor? All you have to do is steal the bioreactor as needed, once a day or maybe just once a week, depending on the plan and the speed of growth. Important, keep the liquid medium from coming in direct contact with the vent filter hole by keeping the vent filter upright while tilting. This can prevent clogging of the vent hole and filter while also reducing the risk of leakage or contamination. Proper handling allows the filter to be used multiple times. The biocoupler system is ideally suited to small hobby labs as well as large commercial producers. They can be tilted by hand with only moments needed or placed on a simple tilt table holding several dozen biocouplers simultaneously. It doesn't take that much time. On average, it takes less than a minute to do a complete immersion manually. At the same time, this is an excellent opportunity to inspect your cultures and check for contamination. It is very effective and practical to use hundreds of biocouplers, temporary mesh and bioreactors to produce thousands, even hundreds of thousands of plants every year. The biocoupler has proven successful with many plants, including orchids, cannabis, aquatics, succulents, fern, and carnivorous plants, and the list will be more extensive in the future. So here is the Biocoupler TM Temporary Mesh and Bioreactor. And for a limited amount of time, we are going to send you two identical 16 ounce canning jars. So make sure to check the link down in the description. Now, like I say, uh, these are regular size canning jars. So if you want to use something smaller instead of the 16 ounce, you can use something like the uh, eight ounce, or if you want to do something bigger, you can use the 32 ounce, which is a core or basically almost a one liter. So now for the plants you saw in the video, um, I have them here. So as, as you saw, I started with a very, very small plants. The first plants uh, you saw was an Nepenthes Kunkata. And I started with a very small, so two, with two very small plants. And this is the process. This is the, how they're doing today. Um, this is a couple of months of grow, so they've been doing fantastic. They really like the biocouplers. So like I say, all you have to do is uh, tilt it. Use for a few minutes every day or every, use a couple of times every week. Uh, so that was an Epentis Tuncata. I also have uh, plants like a uh, Helianfora minor, which is also doing very well. And of course, uh, one of the plants that has done uh, very well for me uh, it is uh, the Darlingtonia californica. So uh, you saw I started with the very small plants and they are doing great. Now if you want to check the progress of these plants um, to all the testing I've been doing for the, these couple of months, uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I want to be releasing uh, videos that I have already pre-record when I started and then I have a follow up videos of the progress of the, these plants. Uh, so I hope you have enjoyed it. Uh, make sure to check the biocouplers in, in the link down below. And then I will see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. 
If you're enjoying these Teach You Culture videos, be sure to follow us on social media for more informative content. And if you're interested in conducting your own tissue culture experiments, make sure to check us out at PlantCellTechnology.com for all the products you need to get started. Use the code FP10 for 10% off your first purchase.